Don't blink, it's your boy Ink. Good morning, it's your boy Ink. It is the 7th of August. We got the beautiful sunrise. It is 6.29 a.m., which is super early. We love it. It is cold AF. Cold AF. Um, so, yeah, so today is kind of a cool video to do. Um, it's a story about my past. It's a story about, and again, I know yesterday I did, oh, I did a video where I don't have any IDs, right? And it's not so much this. It's not so much this. And it's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm in a good mood today. Uh, we're reaching nine, 6,969 or 68,000 uh, uh, followers on TikTok. Super excited. You can tell I'm tired a little bit, which is normal. We woke up at like one yesterday. Um, and it's, uh, it's a six, which means it's. That's a, that's a lot of time. Um, the rule today is super simple. Um, it's crazy how, how well life it is made. That life that we have is a blessing. You see, I was watching TikTok right now. I was scrolling through TikTok. I was scrolling, I was scrolling, I was scrolling. And uh, I found the one and only Steve Wilkos. I was like, oh yeah, I remember you. I remember watching you almost religiously, right? But... Um, the guy was on TikTok, was doing something else, and it was alive. He didn't seem like the old CLT vocals. He seemed a bit mad. He seemed a bit annoyed. He seemed a lot older. He changed. And I was like, okay, no problem. He's my. He wasn't really my hero, but it's something that I cared about a lot. Um, but people do change, right? And I know Jerry Springer died, and Maury. I don't know what's going on with Maury Povich, but getting older, huh? And Jerry again died. Um, so Steve is up there, right? And um, it's good because we watched it and we didn't pay attention. And if you guys know when I stream, I like to have something in the background. And that one thing in the background was very, very fucking simple. It was uh, Steve Wilkos, that compilation. And so you see on YouTube, right, a lot of people are going to do compilation. So if you look at Smosh, if you look at GMM, if you look at some VOD, if you look at uh, everything. Longer form content. And the reason for that is because YouTube will put more video, more ads on an eight hour video. <coughs> People are, are YouTube, will, okay. So it's complicated. But YouTube will reward longer form of content because people with TikTok and anything like that, they're, they're, they're more willing to do like little videos, right? So TikTok says, on a little video, I can maybe put an ad. But my, my content creator, I want to make them to make a longer form of content so I can put more ads. So Steve Wilkos put this everything on YouTube and put ads, which is normal. And uh, it brought me to the trilogy, the same trinity. Um, and it is a really cool story. I'm excited to talk about it. Uh, the lighting must be shitty, right? How about this? Is this better? This, is it better? Give me a sec. There you go. Ooh, very, very bright. I do like it, though. I really like it. Um, so, yeah, so, long story short, um, I told you guys a, a million times the story of my, my parents. My mom, she's the biggest, she's a big worker. My father, extremely um, involved into his work, as much as out of the place, in the place. And I didn't want it for me. So, um, I kind of had a bad, a bad vision of work, of hard work, and I didn't understand it. it was just pride. I thought it was an obligation. I felt that they needed, they felt obligated um, to be as involved as they were. So, long story short, I'm at my place. I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna work. <laughs> and uh, okay, money was tight. Money was really tight. And again, I was, I was listening to podcasts, listening to radio, playing my PS3. Cause yeah, that was that long ago. And. Uh, <laughs> And it was it was it was amazing because those time were some good memories. They were looking about myself. It was self dependence. It was being okay, being on my own. You know, it was the first time where I was on my own, and I needed that time. I need that discovery. One of one of the things I don't tell you is, um, I bought my father calls me, tells me, hey, do you have an antenna? Do you want an antenna? And I'm like, sure. And uh, one of the channel that I took, uh, I had like seven channel. And one of the channels that I really liked was the CW. Because the CW had daytime TV. Um, in the form of the Trinity. Which was Mori Povich. And Mori Povich it was... 
Steve Wilkos and Jerry Springer. There was also Robert Irvine, and I did watch Robert Irvine. And I remember for two years playing games and watching this. And to me, it was amazing because I was a, a gamer, true and true. When I came into the apartment, I was still a gamer. I was 20 years old. I was still a fucking gamer. Everything in my life was game. Then I discovered manga. Everything in my life was manga. Everything in my life was manga and games. And I had, and I have to admit, I can, I'm older now, I can finally admit it. I was out of touch with reality. I was out of this world. My father, because my father and I would talk it, like every week because he talked, he, he lived closer. And uh, my father would be like, hey, did you know that this happened? It was a big event and I didn't know. And it was always like, oh, fuck, something happened, something happened, something happened. And I was out of touch. And my only touch with reality was those three shows. And to me, it was insane. It was insane. I grew up watching Trailer Park Boys. There's moments where my favorite character was Julian. Some other moments where my favorite character was Ricky. And some, characters, some moments where my character was Bubbles. There was time where my favorite show was Steve Wilkos. Some was Jerry Springer. Some was Maury. They were so different. Maury was a lot more laid back, relaxed. Look, this happened. It was, it was crazy. It was just crazy. It was a weird situation. A girl afraid of olive or pickle. I don't remember. Um, with Jerry Springer, it was a circus. It was those people, and Jerry was cool because Jerry would just let the chaos ensue. And with Steve Wilkos, Steve Wilkos, I did like him. Because he would go in after the bad people, he, he felt like a more like a, a vigilante, like oh you did something fucking stupid, and um, that's life. Uh, but I felt like sometimes he would go hard. It would go really hard. It would go really really hard. And there were bad people, but for example, right there's a let's say there's a person that cheats. Not a bad, but that but not a big of a deal. Okay, is cheating a big of a deal? Yes. Absolutely. Don't get me wrong. You shouldn't cheat. But on the Steve Volkow show, he has child abuse and child rapist, uh, sexual harassment, sexual abuse. Then a guy who cheated. Not a big of a deal, right? And if it goes as hard as them, like, bro, chill, chill. You have little monster here. You have a, you have a person with a questionable belief, but still. And it just, it just goes to show how... See, I made a video about Big Brother, right? And how Big Brother was a social experiment for me. But uh, the Steve Wilkos, the Jerry Springer, the Mark Povich were also... And it's, it's Trash TV. And I did a video yesterday. And I wasn't planning on video, making a video today. But I made a video yesterday. And it was not because... It was Trash TV. And it was about 90 Days Fiance. And of course, the the the, 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 key, the schema is different. The show is different. The plan behind the show is different. But it's still perving on people that are having terrible life, and it feels like perversion. At time, it does feel like perversion. Now, am I saying that? Oh, and one of my one of my biggest problem right now is the way it affected people. So. Ah, I think those for sure were amazing, but did affect people. I had a, I had a, um, there was a, there was a, 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 um, a, a young girl, she was 18, and uh, she came on the show, and uh, the first thing she does, she showed her tits. That's cool, that's cool, right? Of course it was blurred, it was on TV, it was blurred, of course. And then the second thing that she does, she said, hey, my mom, she was on the show first. So... You went on the show because your mom went, and the first thing you do is show your tits. Now, again, I'm all about body positivity. You want to show your tits, you should show your tits. But, but, I don't think it's the proper, um, not a proper thing. I don't care what you do. If you think it's proper, it's proper. But it's not the, it's not the goal of the show, you know? But it's a, it's, 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 it's a different generation. You see people like Jackass, right? And they rec they're copying Jackass. But then again, look at YouTube. Look at what we're doing right now. We're just copying. We're just results of those. And it's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. Anywho, I love you. That you matter. I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy. Peace.